What's good, TMG fam? We right back. More up church. You know what it is, man. You know how we rocking. I got a dope lineup for you today. Here we go. <laughs> I'm amp right now. Look, look. We got uh Summer Love. We got Bells. And we got Spitting on First Day Out, which was a fire joint. Shout out to uh what's his name? T Grizzly. T Grizzly. That's his joint right there. So we're going to react to, react to that. But as always, you know how we starting off with the podcast. We're going to get into some more of the podcast. So let's start there. Here we go. Not only are, did we put out 11 albums, we put out 11 albums within a three-year period with over that covers three different lanes of music yeah. and every single one of them Billboard charted, including the very first one. Mm. That's yeah. fucking weird, bro. It's crazy. It is, but it's because of the social, it's the social media presence though. But you know what? A lot of people try to hold that against me too. Like, oh, well, it's not fair for you because uh, you already had a social media presence and you started doing music. Listen, bro, if people don't like your fucking music, they're not going to fucking listen to it. They don't care Facts. who you are. They could like you as a person. And there's, there's people out there that would still be like, yeah, there's but There's a lot of people in hip hop, though. I mean, look at a lot of these mobile rappers that like have 22.3 million fans. And then you go on their Spotify, they got... 2,000 followers, or not 2,000, but like 25,000 followers, or whatever, yeah. and 25,000 streams. Like they're but they're even... smart, though, in, in the same sense, because they know yeah. that these catchy little quirky songs that really ain't saying shit are going to get stuck in your head, and you're going to look at them, and they're going to be, you know, have a cool style about them and shit, and they're going to end up in these little Vine commercials and shit and become big songs. <laughs> oh, they, they, they push <laughs> mainstream music into you, like... You know, like all them songs, like I don't know if I don't know, I don't know if people make a lot of Creed jokes back in the day, but the fact is you heard their song in every fucking movie. And, and oh, like sure. Same thing with Nickelback. Yeah, with Nickelback. Yeah. Like I don't know, like people make fun of Nickelback and I was like, I didn't really have a problem. But their numbers them. smoke people. like what say they were like during all that time everybody was trash and nickelback. Like they are spot on with everything they're saying. You may not like the music and feel like it don't have no substance, but it's getting played everywhere. Uh, just, just everywhere. You know what I mean? Because they're catering to their demographic. It's catchy. It's easy. You know what I'm saying? It's getting played in the club. It's getting played everywhere you could think of. You know what I mean? So ultimately, they're winning. Still, you may not like it, personal preference, but they're winning. Exactly. Yeah, they, they were the number one. I want to say number one live rock band and, and number Everything. one album selling rock band. The thing is, is but every song, every every movie that came out of theaters, like this the theme song was, yeah, like it was just like they were they they push it out there, kind of like all these uh you know big rappers doing songs together. They, these people cannot like each other, you know, but they're just like, hey. If you get this guy to do a feature with you, it's going to, you and know, they pay blow each up. other to do features. Yeah. What we were all talking about earlier, when, uh, was it we talked about how one guy was chiming in and kind of being like, well, I only hear your stuff when I go online. I only hear, yeah. it all comes down to that's the difference with people go label route. Yeah. But that's, 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 that, that shows the slaveness of it right there, though. Cause if they're like, you're right, they probably don't like each other, but they all have to do it because right. they're told to do it. They fall into line and do it. But it's like, yes. that's the only thing you really miss at all. By going with the label or going independent, if you're willing to work, it's really just the distribution and the radio plays. You yeah. know, so at the end of the day, it's like you can't use that as the gauge of talent and success, in my opinion, because it's, you know, you can't just call a radio station and like you have 300 people call and ask for them to play a song. They're still not going to do it because they're they're controlled by the dollars and cents. And I get it. I yeah. mean, mm -hmm. it has to be that way to an extent. But Fact. That, it will change. Yeah. But that that's oh, to dude, me what's already so cool changing. About. Yeah. But Hell, I can't dude. even turn the fucking radio on without hearing a dumbass commercial. <clears throat> no one ever plays songs. You know why no nope. songs are playing? Because they're not making any money anymore. Because the fucking record labels don't have the funds because their artist isn't making enough money back to have the money to take out their percentile to put back into the fucking radio station to buy their time slot to play their shit because ain't nobody fucking listening to it. It's a dying industry, man. Yeah. Like, they have to reform That's it why they have 10 but... number one artists a year because they keep replacing them. Yeah, and you're the same. And that's a fact. In the hip-hop world, you hear the same ones. Not a knock against them, but you hear the same thing on the radio. You hear Drake. You hear Cardi B. You hear Migos. You hear... Um, the stuff just like that, those, and you'll hear that over and over and over again. I hardly listen to the radio, man. I don't listen to the radio, but if you cut it on, I guarantee right now, within an hour, you're going to hear a Drake song. You're going to hear a Cardi B song. You're going to hear, hear, uh, uh, possibly, uh, uh, Migos song. 
You know what I'm saying? Or or little baby or or something like that. Whoever is popping right now and has the funds to pay the radio station, that's who's getting played. They are spot on everything they're saying right now. I love Booker all the time. The fact you did, like we did, the, started in the Rock the South stuff. Like that was, you know, it's funny, like being the only independent artist up there, but playing the main stage with those guys. Like that, yeah. that you couldn't do that ten years ago. Best believe I was. We were going to show our ass that night too. So <laughs> when y'all are on the road, and we're gonna stop right there, but. Imagine how good it feels for him to be free, to be independent, to do what he wants. And like I said, the only reason you need a, a, a major label is for the radio. But like I said, that's a dying... Like, I don't understand it, man. Like, I think it's just because the labels come and they offer you this, this quick little bit of cash which we think is just ours, but it's really, you got to recoup that money. You know what I'm saying? We run and sign something or because we've never heard or had the opportunity of having that money they're offering us ever in our life. So we sign without thinking and we end up signing our rights away, which are way worth more than what we're signing for. You know what I'm saying? So that mentality, man, like that's why I appreciate people like him that's preaching independence man independence only your own masters doing stuff like that man you new artists out there man own your stuff keep your stuff man because that's what's op up ultimately gonna keep you afloat when your career starts to stable out and you're not as high up here as you were you know what i'm saying that type of stuff is gonna feed your family and take care of you for the rest of your you know what i'm saying your career or whatever so but let's move on to some music now here we go. Summer Love is going to kick it off. There's an A-frame house on the corner where my road ends. In the summertime when I was young, I was there every damn weekend. Flirting with the girls that live down the street Leaning in close, I can feel her heartbeat Her heartbeat Summer love In the bed of a truck with the cab lights Glowing like a spotlight on both of us In a field full of grass Lightning bugs lighting up the nightlight A chandelier in her eyes Really don't Y'all remember y'all summer love back then? Oh, man. It's a few of them. <laughs> I'm going to leave it right there, though. <laughs> I don't like how the time flies by. Uh, I'm missing the taste of summer love. Summer love. There's an Indian head painted blue and red. Ball field in my hometown when I drive by, I can't explain the way I feel. Friday night lights, it takes me back to a simpler time when we lived off dreams and the gas to drive round here. Around here, summer in the bed of a truck with the cab lights glowing like a spotlight on both. In a field full of grass, lightning bugs lighting up the night light. A chandelier in her eyes. Really don't like how the time flies by us. I'm missing the taste of the summer. Truck, cab lights glowing like a spotlight on both of us in a field full of grass. Lightning bugs lighting up the night like a chandelier in her eyes. Really don't like how the time flies. Summer love in the bed of a truck with the cab lights glowing like a spotlight on both of us. Got y'all reminiscing, huh? All y'all thinking back right now. What's messed up is some of y'all right next to your old lady thinking about your summer love back then. Don't get yourself in trouble with this song, man. In a field full of grass, lightning bugs lighting up the nightlight. A chandelier in her eyes. Really don't like how the time flies by us. 
And don't blame it on me and Up Church. I've seen a lot of y'all be blaming stuff on me. I'm missing the taste of summer. Summer, y'all remember y'all love. Summer love, winter love, fall, spring, whatever love it was, man. Don't be thinking about it next to you, the lady you with right now and get yourself in trouble and then blame me and up church, man. Y'all gonna stop blaming me for stuff, man. I be seeing the comments. Ah, but summer love, super dope, man. Super, super dope song. Let's move on to the next joint. The next joint is Bells. Let's check it out. snacks oh my god have to get that now he done said that man apple pie oh man you want to know my way to the heart with a dessert a good apple pie bro some ice cream bro ah, let's get back to the music man cut the combs off chickens daddy burned up this whole town in a ragged gt with three different wheels mama read tarot cards under that moon Spoke to God with some candles in the bathroom. My brothers and me was some rednecks coming up on a one leg. We did sing goodbye. We sang with straight eyes. All the three oh five. We never cast around our mama's butt. We raised them until the day. Shot BB guns at the neighbor next door. Any kid who moved in knew got a taste of that old swampy creek jail. Walk bare feet till our feet turn. Black ass slate on a swimming hole floor. And any car that drove by the midnight street never seen my six inch play. We did the same. So he did pass away. That's what I didn't know the other day when you guys was telling me about um, what Chicken Willie meant. Dang, I didn't know he passed away, man. Rest in peace, condolences. I hope you're happy of the thick skin man that I become. That I become.
church bells. It's wanting to play again. That's how dope it is. It wanted to play again. Now, right now, we about to get into him spitting to the first day out. T Grizzly first joint that blew him up, man. Here we go. Let's check it out. This was a hard beat, man. I remember when this this song hit the streets, man. It just took the streets by storm. Song had no hook in it. Just him just straight rapping. Yeah. Church. This is a message to my fans. I need life been kind of crazy. I'm still trying to wrap my mind around the fact that we all made it. Yeah, I started in the holly in the middle of the cutty. Back when it was five to nines, caulk paint and some putty. Real talk. Thank you all for letting my power glide. You had faith in my ass when I didn't even have a ride. Making videos with no servers, trying to post my shit online. Walmart phone, straight talk, cause I was penny pitching tight. Every stitch I close I had was had a stained and ripped up. People saying hip hop don't belong with none of you hit fuck. Like who wanna hear a song about junk and metal for the cash flow? Tell the game that I ain't never known about slanging dope. They say Fit in where you get it, but I don't have a category. All I got is a life and ability to write a story. White boy, killing children, rats be calling me Norman. Cause they know I bait them in and then it turns into a murder. Ooh, the Norman Bates boy was crazy. Bring that back. Oh, that was hard. Killing children, rats be calling me Norman. Cause they know I bait them in and then it turns into a murder. Hey, Drew. Remember back in the day, we fist fought, no these class, got blood on the desk, and on the way to the office, we both became best friends, sneaking in the Brentwood houses damn near every weekend. Hey man, the ladies loved, especially ones that went to private school, cause by the time we 16, we already had some tad shit, man, time flies like that GT that you had then, spray painted a black, man, we thought we was that hot shit. Hey, dude off cracker, what they know about the creek, we was running hella wild while the neighborhood was sleeping, we was racing around them felons, they had more time for their arrest, but we were not in stitching cause we really did the fucking race. Hey, Sam, remember when the police wouldn't even let us out. I fell asleep in your Monte Carlo right up on the stormy's house. Remember when we spent the night just chilling up in Union Hill, hiding in a toolbox because we couldn't pay admission, fam. fam. We done came a long way. Now it's Creek Squad, Creek Squad, dirty white boys, bro. One lane road, south side. Go. <laughs> I ain't getting it to his back. Bring it back. Then I just chilling. When that beat dropped, he went insane. Even let us out, I fell asleep in your Monte Carlo right up on the Stormy's house. Remember when we spent the night just chilling up at Union Hill, hiding in the two bus because we couldn't pay admission, fam. fam. We done came a long way. Now it's Creek Squad, Creek Squad, dirty white boys, bro. One lane road, south side, going too hard. Ain't seen nothing like us, not even up on the telly, dog. We come out shocking motherfuckers like we got kind of prod. Yeah, I'm fucking ugly. Yeah, I'm slightly overweight. Yeah, I got a bunch of goons that are coming right your place. Yeah, I live out in the country. Yeah, I like being that red. Yo, T Grizzly, shout out to T Grizzly. That's my guy, but he killing this right now. Coat around my damn neck, riding around in trucks. That was fresh back in the '80s, fully loaded when I'm rolling National City on a daily. Cause you crack it, motherfuckers can get lit up. I ain't playing, I ain't bothering the sheriff if you stepping on my land. And I be hitting up my skins if you trying to cause a problem. There's a couple hundred of them like coyotes in the hollow. Yeah, I'm sweet tea sipping till my ass got diabetes, but I got that southern muscle. Fuck your sissy box of weedies. I be rolling around the city with some Kelsey Valerie. Come through your antenna. Yo, radio, stop hating. <laughs> and I probably won't ever come through your antenna, but who fucking cares? Church! I love you guys. Yo, he hey there, so it looks like that. you might have checked out Southern. Yo, he on our big event. Body this that. Straight body that. Yo, first day out. He's one of the, I ain't heard too many people rap over that. You know what I'm saying? Some people choose to leave stuff like that alone, but I'm glad he didn't. 
He straight murdered that, man. Y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Hey, man, make sure y'all smash the like button. Make sure y'all subscribe right now and turn on your post notifications, man. It's your boy L. Till the next reaction video, man. I'm out. Peace. Y'all stay solid, man. Hey. <laughs> what we do here is go back, 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 back.